There is more parking fine fury at a car park being described as a ripoff in the mirror called Seaview Car Park in Cornwall, where drivers are being charged £100 as a parking charge notice. Not a fine, by the way, but it's how many people perceive it. When they drive in, fail to find a spot and then leave without having parked and then being sent a parking charge notice. Now, if I were to find myself in this position, I would certainly challenge it because if there was a term of the contract that said I have to pay, even though I didn't find a place to park, I would certainly challenge it on the grounds that that is an unfair term. And an unfair term is an unenforceable term. And I'd be very interested in their arguments in court when they gave me a parking charge notice for failure to pay for parking when there wasn't a space available for parking. I hope you see the problem with that and I hope that you would challenge it too. Of course, this must go for the scenario where you genuinely could not find anywhere to park and you were only in there for literally long enough to try to find somewhere to park. If that is your exact circumstance and there was literally nowhere to park and you're being sent a parking charge notice, personally, I would be challenging it. This is all very different, of course, from overstaying or parking just for a few minutes and then leaving. All of those are completely different circumstances. But if you literally cannot find somewhere to park, I cannot possibly see how they could justify this in court. So I hope that's useful. Make sure you like and subscribe and thanks for watching.